everybody and welcome back to Alex Elliott Golf and welcome to the channel if you've never watched any of these videos before and be sure to subscribe for plenty of content coming throughout the summer to help you and your golf game. So today's video is all about the 50 yard pitch shot and an easy way to hit this. Now I think a lot of people struggle with this shot, a lot of them to struggle with this shot because it's a shot where you feel you can't commit to it. You're scared of hitting it too far for one and you're scared of hitting it in front of you. It's kind of that half shot where it's is it a chip shot? Is it a pitch shot? Is it a full shot? You don't really know where you're at with it and it don't really have a setup to match the length of shot. Now, with today's video, we're going to talk through how we're going to set up to the golf ball and some in-swing thoughts and feelings to help you achieve that nice, crisp, bruising action on the golf ball and allow you to achieve that correct distance near enough every single time. And for me, this is where a lot of people, a lot of amateurs could definitely save a lot of shots. If, even your very good players, if you could pitch this ball well, then you're going to definitely lower those scores. So you've chipped out the trees, 50 yards left of the green, pitch it close, hold the putt. I know it's not the whole picture, but definitely give you a better chance of lowering these scores. So I think the reasons why, like I said before, people don't match the length of shot to their setup. So we've got 50 yards here to this green. Now, a lot of people will stand to this as if they're going to hit a normal seven iron, try a half back swing or feel like they've gone then too far, slow down, then not commit to the shot and then thin it in front of them. So it's almost a little bit kind of like, like this, they can't really commit to it. It's almost a guess how far it's gone. Again, there's nothing very predictable about it. So let's talk about setup first. We're gonna make our setup match our length of shot. And this is how we're gonna get it. So let's put this ball in here. We're not gonna to stand to this 50 yard shot like we would a seven iron. Now, a lot of people don't think they do, but what I could do is I would get someone to video you playing that 50 yard shot and see if your setup matches the length of shot. So what I want you to do is, I want you to firstly get this ball position in the middle of our stance. You can see that's highlighted there. I want this stance just to be a wide of a club width apart. Now, it's like we said, it's 50 yards. It's not very far. Let's make that setup match. So, feet just wide of a club width apart. And then from there, I want you to feel like I'm going to have 60 to 40% of my weight on my lead side. So, you can see that I'm favoring that left side, giving myself the best chance of getting that predictable downwards hit on the golf ball. So, you can see that there, I've got the weight on the left side. The hands just on the golf ball, they're not excessively forward and they're not behind the golf ball also. I'm in that correct position now to help me get that downward set on the golf ball. All I need to do now is feel like I retract that left foot slightly, but keep my shoulders parallel to my ball target line. Now, if we actually freeze the impact now, we'd actually like to be in somewhere like this position here. So just retracting that left foot actually helps me preempt that impact position and help me guarantee that strike. So I'll show you that from down the line. So if I move this ball to here now, Ball in the middle of the stance, club head just wide of a club width apart, weight favoring the left side, 60-40, hands just on the golf ball, standing a little bit closer to the golf ball than we would normally, and then from there, just retract that left foot slightly, but still maintaining our shoulders parallel to our ball target line, to really allow me to preempt that impact position and get that nice crisp strike. So now we've talked about the ball position and how we want to set up this golf ball. You can see that there's a very, very big difference between how a lot of people will stand to this 50 yard shot like they would kind of the seven iron. Whereas now we're standing close to the golf ball. We're preempting impact by retracting that left foot, really giving us a really good chance of creating a consistent pitching game. But like for me, it, it's a big thing. If we don't set up this ball correctly, our setup doesn't match our length of shot then it's going to be very hard to hit it the distance you want to. Like, I'd always say that parallel comparison, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't stand like this if I was going to hit my driver 300 yards. I'd definitely be stood to it nice and athletically, wider stance, giving myself a solid base to operate around. Now let's talk through some simple feelings on the backswing and through swing to help you achieve this nice 50-yard pitch shot. So now we've got that correct setup, that giving us the best chance to create that bruising action. Let's talk through some in-swing thoughts. So let's address that ball like we were before. Correct stance, ball position, weight fade on the left side, closer to it than you usually would, retract that left foot slightly. Now, for me, like we said before, people's backswing gets a little bit too long, guessing whether we're going to hit the ball too far or too short, then it's all a bit of guesswork to get that yardage. Now, how I operate is I use a bit of a pitching position system. Now, for me, my 50 yards is arm parallel to the ground with my 58 degree wedge. So this is my first point about how we can hit this 50 yard shot consistently. So now I've got this set up, my feeling here is, I want it to feel like I swing to this position here, my arm parallel to the ground on the way back and on the way through. So I'm going to match the back swing and through swing and I'm going to match that with a nice fluid tempo. And that's going to give me the best chance of hitting that shot the same distance every time. If I was to stand to this shot, swing it long, 
feel like I've gone too far, slow down and hit the shot. Like we did at the start of the video, it's very hard to actually get that consistent distance and consistent accuracy. So let me play on that now. So the first point is how we're going to get this feeling is my feeling 58. Now it might take you a bit of playing around. It might be 52. It might not be uh, arm parallel to the ground. It might be a little bit further. But the point is have a little bit of a pitching position system. My first position would be arm parallel to the ground and through. Let's hit this one. Correct setup. Back and through. So I've matched it on the way back and through as best I can with a nice smooth action. You can see there my interaction with the, with the ground was nice and brushing, not digging and not scooping it up into the air. Now, the final point is a little bit kind of more technical, not very technical, but a little bit more than kind of just having a pitching position. Now, I think a lot of people, they get stuck into this feeling, and I'll show you this down the line, of making this golf club heavy. And this is what I mean by this is they'll swing it round the corner here, the club then feels heavy, then they'll swing it and they've had to kind of scoop it and flick it and try and get underneath it to get it back onto target. So it looks something like this, round the corner and scoop to try and get it in the air and back onto target. Whereas I use the expression, let's make this club feel light. Let's keep this club in front of us. So what I mean by that is if I was to swing this around the corner now and let go, it always wants to drop behind me a little bit, okay? Because the gravity of the head. Whereas if I keep this golf club feeling light and how I want you to do this is put one hand on the club. If I was gonna keep this golf club feeling light, you can see how here the shaft's a little bit steeper. It feels lighter in my hands. Then from there, we can swing it through and it allows it to drop onto the golf ball. So we'll show you that from this point of view here. Make the club feel light. It's a simple, but really quite a technical feeling. So make the club feel light. That feels light. Don't make the club feel heavy and vice versa. Don't make the club feel heavy too much outside the hands. So we'll highlight that again. Make the club feel light. Don't make the club feel heavy or heavy this way. And that's giving me the best chance, keeping the club head in front of my hands, back into the golf ball to create a nice, smooth, brushing action into impact. So let me hit one here now for you. Running through the setup. Ball position's correct, weight's correct. Retract the left foot slightly, but keeping my shoulders parallel. Arm parallel to the ground, but club feeling light. Keep it light. It's that really nice brushing impact, really nice centered strike and gave me the best chance of creating that more consistently. You can see here how we built this. We built it with a correct setup, built it with a pitching position, and then with a feeling of keeping this club in front of me and light, not heavy and not heavy. And just try that and test it with doing it with your left hand or your right hand if you're a left-handed player. Really simple feelings and a great way now you can absorb some pitching positions for your golf game. So if you've not already guys, make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching today's video.